Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Woot! Just reminiscing about a camping trip I just took. Awesome video coming. But what I'm really here to talk to you about is this guy. I got me a buck. A nice little folding buck. Let's check it out. So what I'm talking about is this buck. This is the 398 Canoe. Uh, the real model number, they say, is the 0389 BRS Canoe Pocket Knife from Buck Knives. So here it is here. It comes in there. The, I'm sure you recognize the packaging. Nothing special about it. Uh, they have uh, all the information on it here. A bunch of stuff. And it does say here, right off the bat, made in China. What do you do? It is the edge of a legend. And if you don't believe me, it says it right there. So let me take it out of the package here for you. Here it is here. And you can see it there. And obviously, you can see it ha where the canoe comes from. We all know that uh, the name comes from the shape of the handle you have on the bolsters here. Those little points on the top here that gives it the shape of the traditional uh, canoe. So you can see it there. Comes with a, a nice handle and everything. Very nice. It, uh, it's it got some weight to it. Surprise about that. Uh, but looking right off the bat, you can have a look there. The blades are a little thicker than a lot of the small pocket knives you get today. Um, this one obviously is from Buck. And everybody's heard of butt knives. If you hadn't, you've been living in a hole. <laughs> They've been around a while. I believe since uh, 1902, I think, butt knives came about. So they've been around. Uh, they do offer a lifetime warranty. Everybody knows that. If there's any problems or anything with the knife, they will fix it free of charge. Obviously, if you decided to throw it in a chipper or something like that, they're not going to fix it. But... Typical manufacturing defaults or things like that. It is a lifetime warranty. And by the way, this model here is the top selling pocket knife. The 389S BRS from Buck. So it is called a canoe, obviously, because of the canoe handle, the shape of the handle. And let's have a close look at it here. You can see, and it has the, the Buck badge on there and that wood handle. They don't say what wood it is, and I, I, I believe it's wood. I'm not sure. Uh, they just say a nice wood-grained handle. Um, it has the three pins holding, obviously, your scales in both sides. There's nothing sticking out, nice and smooth. The bolsters on here are nickel silver. That's pretty typical. Nice and clean. Nothing on the edges here, no catches, no nothing like that. Nicely made. You can see here they are... Huh. I wonder what they're using as the liners on this. And it looks like stainless liners. They don't use brass. See that? You're getting close there. So you can see the liners for the blades. Two blades. You've got this guy here. And this guy here. Obviously one blade a little bit bigger than the other. This is a pen blade. Uh fairly common on folders and this is a spear point and uh, you can see they, they're very nice they're very clean and uh, huh. they don't feel very sh this one this one feels sharp the, the spear point feels sharp the pen not so much your spear point and it, it does have uh, the nail neck on it therefore you pull it out they are not locking they just uh, uh, I forget the word that you use, it's just a liner lock, I would call it. Uh, it's not a lock back or anything like that. Um, so it will come da back. It is fairly solid, no problem there. Doesn't have the half like a lot of knives do, you know, that half position. Um, I don't really know why they have that. I, I suppose in case it gets away from you, it will stop. Uh, I'm not so sure. But you can see the spring pretty solid it gets in there you know pretty solid going in and out on the pen knife 
let's have a look see here how this goes in on the spear point here it, it gets in there it's uh, got some tension on it so i don't see a problem there fairly typical for a pocket knife i i will say this it's nice and clean the blades are made of stainless steel i want to say that the blades are made from uh, 420 stainless steel i believe i think it's like 420 j2 or something like that stainless steel probably chinese personally never had a problem with that um, a lot of people i know don't like that uh, for me it's not an issue this is a pocket knife it's not going to be something you know a life-saving item it is a convenience thing it is an everyday carry type knife you would have this in your pocket and uh, like i said it's got a little bit of weight to it so i it makes me think that it's it's well made um, i'm not seeing any problems at all like i said very smooth very clean and you can see it there so nice i i like this i I'd never seen this knife from Buck. Came across it by accident while looking for something else. It's a nice knife. I can see why this is their number one pocket knife seller. Very nice. Let's get a look at some dimensions here. The spear point here, two and a half inches, the blade. And the pen knife, oop, the pen blade, sorry. One and seven eighths. So you got... Two and a half here, one and seven eighths there. Obviously, this is small. It is a pen knife. You can say good morning to Mary. She's decided to show up. It's a little late. Again, getting a little slack about that. She is. This is her job to come and inspect things for her approval. And as you can see, it, it's a good looking knife. I, it does have the buck look. I will say that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's for sure. So you got your two blades. And it's a, a very typical canoe knife. It is well made. I'm impressed with this. It is well made. The closed length is three and five eighths. So from bolster to bolster, three and five eighths. It's a well made knife. I kind of like it. it. It's it has that look of a traditional pocket knife. What most people would carry in their pocket for traditional use. You know, you're using the spear point for heavier stuff and just general small light work for the pen knife, which is common. And we all know the history of the pen knife that uh, came from keeping your quill sharp so that you could write with it was why they had them. And that's why they're such a small blade, but were always kept extremely sharp. Lifetime warranty. They do brag about the fact that once you own a buck, you're part of the family, you're going to be there for a while. So they, leave, they really believe in their product where if you get a buck, you'll probably go back to it. <laughs> I own a lot of knives. I'll probably go back to them all. That's why I bought them. <laughs> so like I said, it has, a, it, it has some good weight to it. And I, I like that. I don't like a heavy knife and I don't like a really light knife. If I have a really light knife, I feel I have very little control on it if it's too heavy i can't keep in my pocket this is nice and middle of the road i mean those blades are not thin so they've got some weight behind them they're going to be a lot stronger than a lot of the smaller pocket knives out there i can see why they can give that lifetime warranty these blades are got some nice thickness to them how do they sit in there well this is just two blades and it's a canoe so to mess that up, you, you're going to have to do pretty bad. And this is right dead center. You can see how those blades are sitting in there nice and straight. Always good to see. So uh, we, I'm not sure about the sharpness of it. I really don't have a way to test it. Except maybe on Mary. What can I tell you? Yeah, she likes to be part of the videos. The book. 389 canoe not bad not bad at all and like i was saying uh, i like the the weight i think it's right right there middle of the road not too heavy not too light which is a good thing and i believe uh, the weight is uh 2.7 ounces i believe it is my memory is not a one you know i just looked at the specs and my memory recall 
Yeah, not so good. But I believe it is 2.7. Seven ounces, but I wouldn't take my weight for it. But it's, it's a comfortable, nice, comfortable weight. How much did I pay for this? A little bit more expensive than a lot of the pocket knives I own. In fact, I paid that much. And as you can see, a little bit higher. It's not outrageous. The quality, the name, obviously, you're going to pay a little bit for that. So uh, not a bad price at all. And, you know, a lifetime warranty. It's worth it. It's a buck. What more can I say? Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back with another sharp and shiny. Just saying. Thanks for watching. And as always, you be safe out there, especially with them sharp and shinies. Take care now.